think you can look it, get to the wicket, buy you a ticket, go! Go by bus, by plane, by car, by train. New York, New York, what they call a something else town. A city of more than eight million people with a million people passing through every day. Some come just to visit. George Russell was an American jazz pianist, composer, band leader, and musical theorist. He's probably best known for his 1953 book, Lydian Chromatic Concept for Tonal Organization, uh, which sounds like a real page turner. Basically, he discovered F sharp, um, or at least discovered putting F sharp into the key of C instead of F. Um, and um, he was instrumental, apparently, uh, no pun intended, in the development of modal jazz. So in his early life, he sang in church choirs and listened to riverboat music. Uh, he sang Moon Over Miami, Miami with Fats Waller at the age of seven. Uh, he then started his musical career as a drummer. Uh, he was called up for the draft for World War II, but was ho hospitalized with uh, tuberculosis. And during his hospitalization, he learned music theory. Uh, in the early 40s, he moved to New York and got in with a crowd of people, which included Miles Davis and Charlie Parker and others. Uh, in 1945, he was back in hospital for 16 months with his tubercul uh, tuberculosis again. He worked out the basis for his uh, famous book. Uh, he started playing the piano and working as a band leader in 1964. So this is nearly 20 years later. He moved to Scandinavia because of his uh, disgust with race relationships in America. He released lots of albums in the 80s and slowed down in the 90s and he died in 2009 hi my name's dan so this is my first time listening to this album um and i would describe this fairly confidently as big band jazz with spoken jazz poetry at the start of each track uh, and there are five tracks that are between five and twelve minutes long and there's a theme here so i'm not sure if i would claim this was a uh a concept album but it's definitely a themed album and the theme is fairly obviously from the title new york um amongst the 24 musicians involved and i have no idea if they're all playing at once i doubt it um the names that jumped out at me were john contract uh, john coltrane on sax otherwise was known as train uh, bill evans on piano and max roach on drums and also we have uh, john Hendricks, who i've vaguely heard of who's doing the, the lyrical recitals. Um, and it has the, those lyrics actually give it quite a, a, a nice flavor to the whole album. Uh, it's, it's kind of, you know, jazz poetry. It's like, hypercat jazz, yeah, hypercat jazz daddy. I can't say, let's try that again. I've got this written down, so I'm going to try and read it. Hepcat jazz daddy -o. There we are. It didn't really trip off my tongue, did it? Um, the, the poems are, are mildly amusing and they're performed well, I would say. The music is really strong. Um, so I used to sneer at big band because I used to uh, be of the opinion that jazz was all about improvisation and big band was all about writing it down. Um, uh, but I, I've come round on that. And um, actually, I would say on this album, there's quite a lot of soloing going on, which I assume is being improvised as it's gone along. Just the way that it sounds doesn't sound written. Um, but of course, the the backing and the the structure has all been um, all been arranged, uh, which is arranged by George Russell. By um, as far as I can work out, he's not actually playing any instruments; he's conducting. Yeah. Um, it's it's great. I really enjoyed it. It's mostly upbeat. Uh, it's not too challenging. I found musically, but interesting. Occasionally, it's more open in the terms of the harmony. So I think we're moving towards modal type jazz not that i really know what that means uh, my favorite bits were um the breakdowns where you have basically the the upright bass and one other thing so there's one point where there's a piano i think there's another point where there's a sax um i those bits i really get into but the rest of it yeah i i enjoyed it it's not a complex album to analyze uh, unless you're a jazz music theorist which i'm not uh, it's an album that feels like it's got a job to do and it gets on with it and it achieves it. It's fun, it's enjoyable and it's entertaining to listen. So I was actually pretty pretty much in favour. My favourite track is Manhattan Rico, which has got, uh, which is the third track out of five, which has got congas and Latin rhythms in it that just really got my foot tapping. Uh, so I really enjoyed this album. And as always, I'd love to know what you think of this album. So please do leave a comment. 
that's it from me.